Let's look at the conformational analysis of a few rigid molecules. Now, uh, you may be familiar with this term rigid molecule. We had uh, mentioned this uh, here also. Those molecules which cannot be flipped or which do not uh, prefer to flip or remain those molecules which re prefer to remain in one particular conformation or one particular conformer. Like uh, if there is a tertiary butyl group, uh, then as a substituent on the cyclohexane ring, then that particular group prefer to remain in the equatorial position and uh, the, hence the, the molecule will not flip because if it flips, the tertiary butyl group will have to be uh, oriented in the axial position which is not favorable. So similar uh, few rigid molecules are there which are fused ring system or uh, bridged system or uh, caged system. Okay, one of the most uh, extensively studied rigid molecule in this uh, class is the decalins. The decalin is a fused ring system having two cyclohexane rings fused together. Again, it is numbered in this way. The fused carbons are numbered 9 and 10. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 starts with the next ring. Now, decalin, there are two types. I mean, we can have two decalins, transverse decalin and trans decalin that uh, depends upon the uh, orientation or the uh, orientation of the hydrogen on carbon 9 and carbon 10 on the fused carbon. Now let us uh, try to uh, do conformational analysis of the these two types of decalin that is cis decalin and trans decalin. Let us take a trans decalin first. Now you take the decalin and if you just observe it carefully, you we can feel, we can say that it is uh, one two disubstituted cyclohexane. So if you take one ring as a reference, the other ring is fused on the carbon one and carbon two of the uh, first ring. So it is a type of one two disubstituted cyclohexane, and we know that in cyclohexane. Uh, we call a molecule trans when the substituents are alpha and beta, right? That is one above the plane and the other one below the plane, uh, oriented above the plane and below the plane. The substituent which is uh, oriented above the plane is said to be present in the beta phase and the other one is in the below the plane is said to be present in the alpha phase. Now when we write the uh, chair conformation of this, let us try to write. Uh, let us take uh, the one ring, say ring B, we have written the chair conformation of that ring B. Now, uh, since it is a trans 1 to system, the uh, hydrogens or the substituents will be in the alpha beta orientation. So, one will be above the plane and the other one will be below the plane. So, the hydrogens uh, we have written here is this hydrogen is above the plane, the other hydrogen is below the plane. So it's trans. Now, in order to write the structure, the next ring, the next ring, that if this is ring B, then ring A. Now, ring A is acting as a substituent of ring B, 1, 2 substituent. So if we write it, so say, you can say ring A, the, these two methyl groups or these two substituents, which I have written here, are the uh, fragments of ring A. Now they are oriented, see the one, uh, the equatorial one, these two are both are equatorial and the one is below, uh, pointing below the plane and the other one is pointing above the plane. Okay, so this is a, a sort of EE, uh, I mean EE conformer, equatorial, equatorial conformer. Now you can write the uh, other, I mean, the other ring, you can complete the other ring in the chair form and we get like this. So you can see here, this, these two rings, these two substituents are in the equatorial form and then you get this one. So see, it is EE, both the, the rings we have uh, got the fusing, so it's EE, equatorial, equatorial. And because this is equatorial, equatorial, that is EE, the substituents are in the equatorial position, they have uh, they have the least energy because, uh, you know, the contribution 
from the equatorial substituent is nil uh, because it subtends an anti gauge uh, sorry anti butane unit all right and one more thing since this is in the comfort zone that is they are in the equatorial position the substituents are in the equatorial position they will be rigid they will not flip now if this flips what happens is uh, this uh, ring uh, if we take ring a the first ring ring a the axial or sorry equatorial substituent will go to axial and the uh, uh, both equatorial will go to axial and to connect these two axial substituents is very difficult that's one one reason why it doesn't flip okay another reason why it doesn't flip is because it is quite comfortable here the it is in the least energy state with two substituents in the equatorial position okay and another reason why it doesn't flip is because if it flips what happens the substituents will come into the axial position and it will experience diaxial interactions also so that again will be unstable okay and hence transdecalin is a rigid molecule and so you can even say it's a conformationally biased molecule because it prefers to remain in ee form equatorial equatorial form or in the trans form okay it doesn't flip the ring does not flip okay if it flips it goes to aa and that's not favorable at all okay so that's about trans decalin now let's go to cis decalin now uh, to, uh, let us draw the uh, structure of the con chair conformation of cis decalin i have we have the planar structure with the numbering number numbers on the carbon atoms now in cis decalin the uh, two hydrogens will be uh, in the same phase either beta beta or alpha alpha so if you write the uh, chair form we have one ring okay say take it as ring b and the other ring ring a now uh, in the ring b hydrogens will be alpha alpha or beta beta now here i have represented the beta beta form that is both the hydrogens are in the uh, or above the plane okay and the two methyl groups the substituents the two methyl groups will be pointing below the plane all right so the, the these two methyl groups which i have written are the fragments of ring a so they are one is axial the other one is equatorial but this is axial and the other one is equatorial so it's ae okay now we can write complete the uh, structure we get it like this see this is ring a okay one uh, uh, bond one nine is equatorial and bond ten four is axial see here in the planar form bond one nine is equatorial and bond ten four is axial now when you look at this molecule this molecule can be flipped okay they they can because oh, since one bond is equatorial and the other one is axial this axial bond prefers to go to the equatorial and that when that happens the equatorial will go to the axial then both these are uh, similar molecule energetically same so they will flip all right and uh, uh, in this molecule there are uh, uh, let's see the gauge butane units there are three gauge butane units one is here nine one two three okay nine apart from the butane units from the second hexane ring we have one nine one two three another gauge butane unit by eight nine ten four eight nine ten four and another one by four 10 5 6 4 10 5 6 now these are the three extra butane units gauge butane units which come arise due to this uh, in in this compound okay now in trans decalin we do not have any gauge butane units so we can say that cis decalin has got almost 3 into 0.9 kilocalories that is almost 2.7 kilocalories more energy than trans decalin because of the three extra gauge butane units all right apart from the gauge butane units this has one uh, this will experience diaxial interaction because of this axial 
10 4 bond bond c 10 c 4 bond so when we compare the energy of cis and trans trans is the most stable one because it can remain in ee form now uh, this uh, i said earlier this can flip okay so this is a slightly flexible molecule okay this molecule is a flexible molecule let us see how it is flipping and what is the structure which we get how do we draw this structure flipped structure now this is the uh, the one chair conformer of uh, cis decalin. Okay, now we are going to flip this. Let us consider the ring B, that is a uh, ring containing carbon 10, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, when you flip ring B, what happens? Ring uh, The carbon 7 comes down, 8 goes up. This uh, uh, you can if you if you just forget about the pink the, the ring A now ring B is almost the mirror image these two are the mirror images. Now uh, the hydrogen on carbon ten which was equatorial will go to axial orientation and the hydrogen on carbon nine which was uh, again axial will go to equatorial orientation. Now for us to write it more comfortably write the structure more comfortably we'll just. Uh, rotate this molecule to 60 degree okay when we do that we get the molecule some uh, like this the number the carbon atoms are rearranged and see when we rotate these two are mirror images all right uh, the second ring and the third ring are mirror images only the numbering is changing now it's comfortable for us to write so the nine carbon nine has got the equatorial hydrogen, carbon ten has got the axial hydrogen, and hence the substituent on carbon nine will be axial, and the substituent on carbon ten will be equatorial. And that you can see here, the nine one bond is axial, and the ten four bond is equatorial, and you get the chair conformation of the flipped cystic alkene like this. So this cystic alkene flips to give you the second cystic alkene. This is the way we write the structure of the two chair conformers. These two are identical, energetically similar. All right. And hence they will be flipping. Energy wise, sister uh, decalin is less stable than trans decalin because it has got three extra gauge butane units when compared to trans decalin. Now, if there is a substituent on this decalin, that is, we have a methyl uh, methyl substituent on decalin, the uh, energy of the uh, cis decalin and the trans decalin, when you compare, the energy of the uh, cis, uh, trans decalin will be due to the four gauge butane units. Uh, there will be increase in the energy of the trans decalin because of the presence of the methyl group in the axial position. Okay, it will subtend 4 gauge butane units. While in cis decalin, apart from the extra 3 uh, gauge butane units, 2 more gauge butane units are introduced by the axial methyl group. So, when you compare this of the substituted cis and trans decalin, the cis decalin is uh, uh, having energy only 0.9 kilocalories more than that of trans decalin. Only that is the difference in gauge butane unit between cis and trans will be only one gauge butane unit. Okay, so the uh, the energy of cis and trans become comes closer when a methyl group is substituted at the bridge carbon. Alright, so uh, the energy of trans decalin increases and it comes closer to that of cis decalin when you have a methyl substituent on the decalin. Another similar molecule is adamantane. Adamantane is a, as the name says, it's highly adamant. It is extremely rigid. This can be put in the class of caged compounds, also caged molecules. Now, here you can see adamantane, there are uh, uh, three rings, three cyclohexane rings. One is here, another one, you can see here one uh, horizontally present, the other one vertically present, and the other one a planar cyclohexane ring. 
okay now the numbering of adamantane is uh, like this you start from 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and then the few few or bridged heads come 9 and 10 now uh, Adamantane, in adamantane, if you just look at the structure, you can see here, if you take the uh, cyclohexane ring 3, 10, 7, 6, 5 and 4, the axial substituents on carbon 5 and carbon 7 and carbon 2, these three axial substituents are locked by the bridge carbon 1. This You have a common car carbon here which joins these three. Okay, so bond 18, C1, C8, C1, C9 and C1, C2 locks these three uh, axial substituents. Okay, now uh, when you look at the other way, now these axial substituents on carbon 5, carbon 9 and carbon 2, since they are locked, the, now the possibility for a diaxial interaction is not there because they are joined together by another carbon atom all right and this molecule does not flip okay uh, the, this molecule cannot flip because of this ring structure and if you write, look at the uh, bond angle and bond length and all it is almost same as that of sp2 hybridized even see even this planar ring one the bond angle is 109 it, uh, I mean sp3 hybridized 109 8 degree okay it's same as that of the sp3 hybridized carbon so this is highly rigid molecule okay adamant as the name suggests it is highly adamant another molecule which we can consider in this class is norbor name now this again is a bridge system wherein you have uh, one carbon atom which is bridging two rings Carbon, uh, ring 17456 and 17432. These two rings have the common carbon 7. Okay, so it's another uh, system, few system. Now, here, norbornane can have these two conformations a board conformation and a twist board conformation. See this, this ring, ring 165432. Okay, ring 165432 can exist in the boat form or the twist boat form and it has been proved that the not boat name exists in the boat conformer rather than the twist boat conformer now here also you can see the flagpole uh, uh, substituents that is uh, uh, bond 17 and bond 47 these two are locked by carbon 7. These flagpole substituents are locked by carbon 7. So, flagpole, flagpole interaction is not going to arise. Okay. So, not bone name exists in the boat form, boat conformer. This one, boat conformer. This is the most stable. Similarly, we have another one, barley. Now, in barley, there is unsaturation, double bond. Now, what you must remember, baryline also is similar to norbornane. The only thing is in baryline, instead of one bridge carbon, there are two bridge carbons here. Okay, two bridge carbons. So, we will have seven and eight. Okay, and one more thing in baryline, what you have to remember is the double bonds will never be uh, linked to the or will not be present on the bridged carbon. That is carbon four and carbon one. Okay, now this, uh, uh, that is the, that's, that rule is called the Brett's rule. Okay, that is in a few system, the double bond will not be present on the bridged carbon. Okay, so these are the uh, 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 confirmation analysis or few details about the uh, fused system, caged system and bridged system or rigid molecules. Okay, which will not flip, which are conformationally biased, which remains in a particular conformer. Okay, please do write and uh, practice the structures of these molecules and make yourself thorough with it. Thank you.